hello everyone welcome back so in the last videos we did build an application called code share uh, which was uh, a kind of sharing the code uh, snippets to other uh, people whomever we wanted to share with okay so i am back with a new application so from this video onwards we'll be building a new application and i am naming it as resume builder and parser so basically uh, this application is going to help us build a professional resume and also understand how existing ats uh, that is application tracking system works uh, while parsing the resume and uh, uh, identify the uh, key sections in our uh, resume so this application is going to uh, address uh, these things that I have mentioned so uh, enough talking so let me uh, showcase you the output how is it going to look like after we uh, complete this application so going to our application so this is the uh, home page of our application which is resume builder and parser you see here uh, it, it is going to help us build a professional resume easily okay and uh, this is the uh, how it's going to look like once we complete our application so straight away the simple home page with just the showcasing uh, what is the output it's going to be uh, with our builder in-house builder and the button to uh, get started with the uh, creating the uh, uh, resume and then this just the uh, simple steps and how is it going to be the overall flow of the application so in this case it is simple you can either add existing resume or uh, create from scratch and then uh, preview the design and make edits accordingly uh, however you want and then uh, straight away you know download uh, the new copy that you have edited okay so uh, this is you see uh, we have this builder and parser okay and uh, here is the uh, this is the resume how it's going to shape up so now straight away i'm going to click on this uh, thing so as soon as i click on this uh, create a button it's going to take us to the page uh, import page where either if we have an existing resume we can just uh, upload this and automatically that uh, information from that pdf will be identified and populated in the sections that i will be showcasing or we can create it from scratch so here once i click uh, on creating the fr uh, from scratch it's going to take us to the uh, builder page where on the left section this is the place where we have an options to add the sections that we want and automatically whatever we make changes here we'll see immediate reflection in the right part how is it going to look to the end uh, users so in this uh, uh, see just i'm going to showcase you here so you see automatically as uh, i'm entering we see the reflection here this is how we build the resume so if you see uh, we have in here uh, the main uh, objective and email phone website and location section that's going to be standard in any resume and then the section for work experience so we can add multiple things how many ever you want so here if i just uh, you know uh, click on this you see uh, automatically so if i just uh, mention this you see the reflection here in the work uh, experience and same way uh, if i uh, have this so this is the uh, something uh, I'm just going to enter here casually some description. Okay, so this is how uh, the work experience we can add. And also if you wanted to change the order of uh, work experience and uh, education and all, if you just click on here, it's going to move down. Okay, and if you want uh, the order to be uh, again uh, same, you can just uh, follow this uh, icons. Okay, this is how and if you just don't want this, I'm just going to delete and uh, we can delete that same way for the education section where you can add your university and the major and uh, additional information what is a cgpa then coming to the uh, project section where uh, you can add the project and what is it's about and uh, what was the timeline of that project you can add multiple projects again and if you don't want this section to be seen uh, in your uh, final resume you can just uh, uh, click on this uh, hide uh, icon it's going to ha hide that part and you will not be able to see in the end output if you want it back just uh, toggle that back okay and here is the skills list so if i just add uh, the list skills i'm just going to uh, 
this is how you can add the number of uh, a skills list and here if you wanted to add featured skills okay so let's say you're good at uh, uh, something like you know uh, ml so you can just give here and also you can um, specify or signify emphasize the uh, expertise you have on particular feature or the skill okay if i say here you see automatically uh, it's the that's my level uh, expertise and if i just say dl okay so this is the uh, feature skill option and then the uh, you have the uh, theme color setting okay let's say now the color we have populated is blue so if i change this uh, to uh, green uh, you can see immediately the change of the uh, theme to green and uh, so this is how we have the option to add the custom color as well and font type too you can change uh, the font to whatever the font type you want so these are the list we are supporting here and then the font size so you can uh, change this uh, font size to whatever value you you want so let's say like you know i am just uh, entering this you see uh, the immediate change in the uh, resume uh, with the uh, font size value we changed okay and then the document size you can change it to the a4 or it to be in the letter format so this is the resume builder page which is going to help us build the resume easily and quickly and uh, you can even have the uh, uh, option to zoom in and zoom out and to uh, have a detailed look on specific part okay and option to auto scale okay so once it is ready just clicking on this download part it's going to download your resume and you can just have your resume ready okay so that was the uh, resume uh, builder and uh, uh, this is going to be very exciting and now let's go to the uh, parser part so this is the uh, parser uh, section where assuming we have already the existing uh, resume and we wanted to parse the section of our resume and understand how it's going to be uh, when uh, standard ATS uh, trackers uh, are going to extract the content from a resume and uh, uh, draw out the good score for professional resume so this is the uh, place where you can know if you have the existing resume just upload the file okay just uploading the file so here I'm just showcasing an example assuming this is the resume we have and I have just uploaded so you can see uh, straight away the resume parsing results so it identifies all the sections present in our resume so you see here uh, the name uh, section and the all parts email phone location uh, link summary so whatever the standard thing is expected from resume will be parsed from this pdf using this uh, simple uh, four steps algorithm parser algorithm okay so you see here automatically i'm just showcasing the results of uh, Ex, uh, results extracted from this uh, pdf okay and uh, you can just if you want more info it's just the uh, simple uh, steps we are just uh, how is it done we'll talk about it later while we are building it so these are the steps and also you see the metadata in which location or of the coordinates of x and y the particular uh, the title of our application or the name of our application is located you can see the metadata for each section so this is how uh, we are you know parsing the uh, uh, resume and showcasing uh, the result so this is going to be uh, very interesting and you learn a lot you know while you're building how we are identifying and how we are identifying certain pattern and how we are extracting the certain section of a resume so this is the uh, how uh, in a overview how is it done parsing so same way uh, so that was the example i did show so this is one more uh, thing i did take from the uh, public sources you see here the results you know automatically how is it extracted and all so this is going to be really exciting and this is the parser playground so you can uh, just have the uh, your resume file and upload here and have the view here and see the parsing results so this is the thing that i wanted to talk about in this application so this is going to be a very uh, effective and a lot of learning from this application we are going to build this using next.js react and for state management we are going to use the rtk uh, so redux toolkit and uh, redux okay and we'll use the libraries pdf to pass the uh, file and also to view this so it's going to be uh, for styling we'll be using tailwind css 
so it's going to be completely new experience so hope uh, you guys will like it stay tuned for uh, more videos on this application thank you so much